Hey everybody, and welcome back to Badger Nerd News, your recap of nerd events. I'm your new host, Cass. Now let's jump right into it. In TV and movie news, Netflix and Disney have both good news and bad news for their consumers. First, the bad news. As of 2019, Disney will pull all of its Walt Disney and Pixar production films from the popular video streaming site. According to Variety, Disney is pulling the properties from Netflix in order to start their own streaming service for all of their world-famous animation and film fault. On to the good news. Netflix and comic book creator Mark Millar are teaming up, according to their own press release. Netflix and Millar will bring Millar World's portfolio of critically and fan acclaimed character franchises to life through films, series, and kids shows available exclusive to Netflix members globally. Millar World will also continue to create and publish new stories and character franchises under the Netflix label. Mark Millar had this to say, This is only the third time in history a major comic book company has been purchased at this level. I'm so in love with what Netflix is doing and excited by their plans. Netflix is the future and Millar World couldn't have a better home. In other news, movies and science fiction have portrayed a future where giant robots smash each other for our entertainment. We even have shows like BattleBots and Robot Wars that try to slate our thirst for bot-on-bot -bot carnage. In recent years, a whole new challenge has taken it one step further. American company Megabots Inc. and Japanese company Sudobashi Heavy Industries have been flexing their servos at each other, but after several delays, the fight is set for the end of this year. The Americans bot Eagle Prime is a 12,000 pound behemoth and at maximum stands 16 feet tall. Sudobashi Heavy's Kuratos is a lighter 9,000 pounds and stands 13 feet tall. And in a shocking turn of events, the Chinese company Great Metal has thrown its robot gauntlet down as well, with its bot, the Monkey King. Weighing in at 8,000 pounds, the Monkey King uses a giant metal staff, but the Chinese company are keeping other specifics under wraps for now. The Koreans also have a giant robot they call Method 2. This amazing robot is even bipedal, though we have not received a formal challenge yet. It seems the future is coming faster than we anticipated, as the first fight Eagle Prime and Kuratos is set for this September. In gaming news, a woman from Plano, Texas has set a world record for the classic arcade game Tapper. Lauren Featherstone crushed the old record, playing for a solid 24 hours. Tapper, originally released in 1983, is considered one of the best classic arcade games. Unlike many of the games of that era, Tapper had a more random style, free of discernible patterns. This means managing the game is an active process requiring split-second decision-making and foresight in the middle of technical play. The previous record of 10,361,550 points was held for two years, but on July 15th at Free Plate Arcade in Arlington, an amazing 14,600,000 points would sit at the top of the leaderboard. The day-long game would end cheers from the crowd. A tired gamer stood as the best that has ever been. Her endurance, a testament to the will and the power of the mind. On August 9th, the company Retrofighter began a Kickstarter campaign for a next-gen Nintendo 64 controller. The new controller would have the modern-day joystick and D-pad, as well as full compatibility with classic accessories. This includes the rumble pack and memory cards. Most notable is the layout. Gone is the three-pronged design. The new design is a more traditional controller with uniform buttons and Z-triggers on both sides. Originally looking for $13,000 to build a first run, Retrofighter has amassed over $125,000 in donations and pre-orders. The market has spoken and it would seem that the need for a Nintendo 64 controller that isn't as awkward as it is fragile is something the public has an appetite for. If demand can be met and quality isn't an issue, it would seem this gaming niche has been filled. If you invest $20 to the fund, you'll get a controller from the first run. If they hit all of their planned goals, the first batch should arrive in time for Christmas. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Let us know what you think in the comment section down below. Check out our other stuff, you know, on the left. And if you would like to receive notifications, click the bell icon. We'll see you next time. Ba -da -da -da.